Hey guys, Dave the Watchman coming at you here with another watch review video. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple of watches today, but before I do that, uh, I just want to say if you like this content and you want to keep on coming, make sure you do give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And I do want to take make a shout out, take a second to make a shout out to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys. You're great. I am almost at 100 subscribers, and that is awesome since I only started this channel just under seven weeks ago. Uh, I really do appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed to my channel for my content. Um, and uh, like I said, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support. And if you do like these videos, make sure you do give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to get into some watches. I, uh, I just had a Sheen watch haul that came in the other day. And I ended up buying, just to compare, I wanted to get another Rolex Submariner homage watch that um, I, I was very, very happy with the one that I got from uh, from Amazon from the company Olevs. Uh, and I do love a lot of the Olevs watches. Uh, very, very good quality watches. Um, let's see if we can get some focus here. Very good quality watches from Olevs. Definitely satisfied with the brand. However, I was kind of curious when I saw a similar one on Sheen.com. So I had to do it. Just had to do it, guys, because you know I love my homage watches. I am Dave the Watchman. I do not like to spend a lot of money on watches, but I do love my watches. So, um, like I said, guys, I'm not a jeweler. I'm not going to pop the backs off of any of these watches and go over mechanisms and specs and all that stuff you want to see that this is not the video for you this is uh my opinion on these watches i think they're great watches i sift through the junk watches to find the good watches that are good quality homage watches that you don't have to drop a lot of money on so if you're looking to amass a nice watch collection where you can have a lot of watches but you don't want to have to spend a lot of money this is the place to be because i do love to buy my watches i love to wear my watches and i love to review my watches and i don't like to spend a ton of money on watches i'd rather have 50 watches than one so that being said i did purchase a second rolex submariner homage watch and guys i'm pretty surprised this watch was just under 40 dollars on amazon i will post a link to this in the description below there's my buddy Schrody coming in to interrupt the video. I will post a link to this in the description below. However, I'm not affiliated with Sheen, so I will not be posting any Sheen links. But, guys, you're more than welcome. Head on over to Sheen. Check this watch out on Sheen. It is a good quality watch. Um, but I will po be posting a link to the Submariner, Olev style Submariner, uh, because I am affiliated with Amazon, and it does send a bit of a commission to the channel if you guys decide to buy it. So if you do decide to buy one of these, I would appreciate you clicking on the link below and heading on over to Amazon. If you guys want to take your chances with Sheen, knock yourself out. It is a great watch. So I'm going to go over that. Without further ado, I'm going to go over the differences between these two watches. Like I said, they're both great watches. I have nothing bad to say about this watch other than you have to wait two weeks to get it. This one, most, most of the times with Amazon Prime, you can get it the next day. So it just depends on how fast you want to get it and which one you like better. So let's get into it. Um, basically, very similar bands on both of them. Good quality. The face on the o, on the Olevs is a bit larger, but I did notice also the face and the hands. If you look at the hands, the hands are larger, the face is larger, and the case itself is a little bit larger than the one that you get on Sheen. The difference in the bezel, the bezel on this one has like a silver look on the blue and this one has the gold on the blue. Once again, I'm not saying one's better or worse than the other. I like them both. And honestly, they're both strikingly similar to the Rolex Submariner. So I did notice that the bezel on the one from Sheen Seems to be a little bit tighter than the one on Olevs, but that could just be due to the fact that I've had this one now for a couple of months, and I have rotated the bezel quite a few times. And obviously, these are not Rolex watches, so they're not built with the same quality. So they do, they will tend to loosen up over time. 
Um, once again, for the price, you can't complain. You're going to look at a, a Rolex watch like this used. On the used market, you could pay up to $20,000 to $30,000 for a Rolex Submariner used. Used. So when you're talking about paying $40 on Amazon to get it the next day, paying $20 roughly on Sheen, it'll get there in about two weeks. Um, either way, you could end up to buy a brand new Rolex Submariner. You could be on a waiting list for three years and pay $30,000 $30, for it. Get a used one now at a jeweler for someone neighborhood to fifteen to twenty. Either way, and then you then you're afraid to wear it. You'll be keeping it in a safe most of the time. But anyhow, back to the review on these very good watches. Both of them are very good quality. They have similar clasps. Um, this one has the smaller. Uh, I, I don't know what that clasp is called. This is the traditional clasp, but this one does have the um, the laser etched logo on it. The thing I do like about the Olev's watches that a lot of the other watches don't have is it does use a crown in the emblem. And, you know, guys, I'm not talking to the haters out there because the haters are just going to hate. But here's the thing. It's not a Rolex. It's not purporting to be a Rolex. It does use a crown in the logo, but it's a, it's a different crown. It's not the same as a Rolex crown. But one thing I do like about the Olev's brand is is not only do they put the crown on the the face, they also incorporate it into they they are incorporate their crown logo into the winding crown itself, which I think is a really really nice touch to the watch. But guys, both of these watches great condition, uh, great quality, good quality for the price. You're not going to beat it. You're talking about both of these watches in front of you right now. Both of them. Less than sixty dollars, seventy less than seventy bucks for both of these watches, both of them. So you can pick this one up, like I said, right now at Amazon for under forty dollars. I will be posting a link to that in the description below. So definitely, if you guys are thinking about a Rolex Submariner and you don't want to drop the coin on it, here's a good option for you. Like I said, I'm Dave the Watchman. I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman. And these are two great Submariner homage watches. So either way, take your pick. Head on over to Sheen. Pick one of these things up. Wait a couple of weeks. Go on over to Amazon. Use that link below. You'll probably have this thing within two days. So Amazon Prime, you can't go wrong with that. And best thing about it, buy this on Sheen. It's a great watch. But if you decide you don't like it, you're stuck with it. Buy this on Amazon Prime. Get it home. Decide you don't like it. They got a fabulous return policy on Amazon Prime. I think everybody knows all about that. So anyhow, just want to say again, you like this content, make sure you do give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe so you can see more watches. Uh, I do review watches every single day. I get more watches coming in all the time. So you like this content, thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And if you want to buy one of these watches, head on over with that affiliate link below. I would appreciate that very much. And again... Thank you to my current subscribers for getting me almost up to 100. If you guys want to be my 100th subscriber, click on that thumbs up and subscribe right now and you can be my 100th subscriber. Thank you so much for everything, guys. I will see you guys in the next watch review video. I hope you guys are having a great Monday uh, and I will see you in the next watch review video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.